Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. It was the 13th annual. Nine taste test. But it had an added twist. Oh. <laughs> Please keep me dry. Carrots. Wrong. Ah. Parsnip puree. Swiss chard. With the blue team trailing, Bryant delivered in the final round. Potato, pepper, mozzarella cheese. <laughs> Tying up the score. Run and row, let's go. But in the sudden death battle. Cauliflower. Fennel. Yeah! Bitch. It was Roe who gave the red team their fourth victory in a row. Row your way to the top! That was the most exciting taste test we've ever had. Later. I want everybody to come to my office. Yes, you. Chef Ramsay announced a very special private dinner service. The guests are firefighters. Where each chef was in charge of their own course. Come on, blue team. Bryant successfully took charge. Stop pulling the plates up, I'll pull the shelves. That looks great. Go. But Fernando miscalculated. You've run out of risotto. We're not serving this course until we're all together. And Santos. Do you want me to cut the tuna, do the potatoes, if I see eggs, please? Failed to take control. So basically, I'm doing your dish for you. In the red kitchen. Sterling, you're doing nothing. Sterling was lost. Sterling is not doing anything. Sterling, Sterling, check the yes, blood please. Pass. Sorry, Chef. Sorry, Chef. And Rose, bad math. That's okay. 10. We're too plays short. No! Kept the red diners waiting. It's way too long. In the end, each team had to put up two chefs for elimination. The red team nominated. Ro. And. Sterling. The blue team nominated. Fernando Chef. And. Santo Chef. But it was. Fernando, give me your jacket, please. Who watched his dream of becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill at Caesars Atlantic City go up in flames. The continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here. Thank you, Chef. Glad you're back, though, girl. Yeah, thank you. I'm actually not happy. Rose has been progressively getting worse. I feel like I'm the strongest cook on the team. I'm happy that my dishes have been strong during challenge, but for me, I just keep setting my bar higher and higher. My tolerance is so low for Jennifer. I wish she would just shut up. While Jennifer. I'm doing something right is busy tooting her own horn. Good luck, I ain't going nowhere. And looking out for herself, the chefs on the blue team. We gotta fucking constantly talk. Appear to be aiming for success through teamwork. Because we only have each other to talk to. Yep. It's three of us. That's it. We started with 18 people, and we are down to the top seven. We are that close to being a part of this elite Black Jacket Club. The chefs each have an idea of what it will take to reach their goals. But as this is Hell's Kitchen, let's go. It can be dangerous to draw any conclusion. Like an artist, we as chefs start with this amazing blank canvas, right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. It's probably what I love most about cooking, right? I'm just hoping I don't have to paint anything because I can't draw. There is nothing more satisfying to a chef or an artist starting with nothing and creating something stunning, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Absolute yeah. brilliance. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so cool. He did it in like three minutes. One of the most talented speed artists, Tim Decker. Thank you. Uh, incredible. Thank Great you. job. Thank, Thank you so much. For today's challenge, I want to see pure artistry. Just call me Sade Van Gogh. But I want it all to fit on a plate like this. 
I'm looking for each of you to create the most stunning Amuse Bush. I never hear what Amos do to you, but after the day, I will know. Create two servings of the same Amuse Bush. Your 20 minutes starts now. Off you go. In today's Amuse Bouche challenge, the chefs must harness all their creativity and express themselves in one small, tasty bite. I'm so confused, but you know, whatever I do, I put my heart in creativity. Every challenge, it seems like it's Sterling's first time in a kitchen. Thanks, Sterling. Man, I'm scrambling. All of a sudden, I stop. Close my eyes. I hear my fiance saying, You can do this, baby. It's coming to my head now. We're gonna do a, a New York strip with a bourbon glaze, man. Okay. Nice, Sterling. All these awesome ingredients. I feel like a kid in the candy shop. Yes, 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 yes. I grabbed a dragon fruit, pomegranate, artichoke, ahi tuna, some fennel pollen. It's going to be a small package, but it's going to be big on flavor. Energy, energy, energy. Let's go, guys. I visualize my dish, and then I just go with it. And I'm usually spot on, so I'm the complete opposite of row. I'm just using the heads. I'm going to go with the spot prawn and just rip the heads off, because my favorite part is sucking the head out. For me, it's refined and elegant. This is what I'm thinking, just using the, the heads of the spot prongs. Just the head, yeah. Team player row would have been like, absolutely not. Don't put that head on a plate. But I really need to focus on my own performance. Eight minutes to go, yes? Yeah. I want to make something no one really would ever think of. I take the scallop, cut it to where it was a cube, and it almost looks like tofu. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let the imagination go wild. Seven minutes. Let's go, come on. Doing a little corn and crab topped with a seared scallop. My dish is gonna be perfect. It's me in one explosive bite. Red chili flakes, anyone? How you guys doing? Good? Yeah. I have seared ahi tuna, garnished with sauteed Napa cabbage, and passion fruit. I have not worked with passion fruit a lot, but let me just throw the passion fruit in and see what happens. If you don't take risks, you never know what you can do. Last two minutes. Red team, you have an extra chef decide amongst you on which dish you're going to drop. Who are you going to drop? Hey, how about this disgusting prawn head? I'm going to be honest, I don't feel confident in mine. This is messy. Everybody plates look beautiful, but mine. Five, four, three, two, one, and serve. Red team, have we made a decision? Y yes, chef. Yes, chef. It's Start mine, because mine is not eye appealing. How does it taste? It tastes 100. I mean, it tastes good, Chef. For this very important test of your creativity, I will not be judging this alone. Joining me, the editor and chief of the most awards-winning food site on the web, Epicurious, Tanya Steele. Oh. Welcome, my darling. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. Nice to see uh, you. Welcome. Love the website. I should be on it one day. That'll be awesome. Tanya and I will be scoring your dishes on a scale of one to five. We're going to start off with tasting all the red team's dishes first. Latasha, please, come and present your new dish. I went with a little sweet corn and crab, a pan-seared scallop, and crispy prosciutto. It's got a real smoky bacon flavor. I'm a southern girl. Back home, we like our scallops wrapped in bacon. It is really Thank delicious. Thank you very much. My concern there, a little bit too big. And who's bush? Pop. One or two bites. Maximum. Right? Yeah. Um, Tanya, out of five, how would you judge I'm that? I'm going to say four. Four. Three. Thank Good. you, Jeff. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Let's go, please. Thank you. Here we go. With this mousse bouche, I'm proving to Chef that I'm his next head chef. First thing I saw in our ingredients was this beautiful ahi tuna. So a quick sear on it. I did a black garlic and ginger sauce under the bottom, uh, finishing salt on top. Unfortunately, what I just had was a mouthful of salt. 20 minutes, I think you could have done that in five. You haven't inspired the tuna to... Sing. Sing, yeah. exactly that. I'm afraid I'm going to give it a two. I agree. Yeah. Underwhelming, right? Thank you. Underwhelming. Get a grip of reality here, Ro. You suck at creating dishes. Jennifer, let's go, please. Yes, Chef. Once again, it's up to me to save the day on this. What? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jennifer, no one wants to start the meal. This might be off-putting to some people. Sucking on a head. 
Um, I went with a spot prawn, and it seems like everyone's favorite part is sucking the head. So, um, <laughs> okay. Jennifer, who the hell are you hanging out with? I marinated it, and then I just used the marinade as the sauce and thickened it with a little coconut milk. It's too rich for me, the coconut milk, but I admire your cojones for trying this. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give you your three. Let's be honest, not every customer is going to sit down and start sucking the head. <laughs> uh, two. Thank you. Jennifer, you're a fucking idiot. So, blue team, the score to beat is 16. A chef. After a poor showing from Jennifer and Roe, Let's start off with Brian, please. On, Let's go. Me. The blue team's chances for a victory look good. A little spoon. I like that. Oh. I've made a grilled scallop with some charred corn, garnished with a bit of pea tendril and some um, wasabi caviar. First one to yeah. come up with a one-bite wonder. Yeah. It's what Chef Ramsay asked for. Cheers. That reflects on me as a chef in a very good way. Creative, original, but the scallop is a little bit overcooked. Cool, whatever. How'd you cook those scallops? I cooked them on the grill. How'd you cook the scallops less? I'd be four, but I'm gonna give it a three. Tanya. I really liked it. I thought it worked. I'm gonna give it a four, despite the fact that wow. you could have taken it off the grill. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Santos. Yes, chef. Let's go. Oh. So what I have today is a fennel crusted ahi tuna and a artichoke hard and some dragon fruit, and I infused it with the pomegranate juice. Seriously, use every ingredient that was available to us. And I also added a little dehydrated golden raisin. Dude, shut up. Some fried vermicelli just for a garnish, just to show, with a pomegranate seed. And some little bit of wasabi caviar. A lot of stuff going on there. Good. Please give him a low score. There are certain things in that dish I think you didn't need, like the raisin, for instance. You've got to know where to say stop. But I thought it was actually a very delicious mouthful. It was very balanced. How would you judge that out of five? <sighs> I think a four. A four. Wow. Uh, for me, one less fruit on the plate, it would have been a four. I'm going to give it a three. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Good. Good job, man. Blue team, you're doing extremely well. Unless we have an absolute disaster in our final in Moose Bush, you've got this. Oh, man, please blow this. Today, please. Thank you. Either Chef Ramsay and the guest judge are going to understand my flavors, or they're going to hate it. What I have for you today is a tuna pan seared on a bed of Napa cabbage sauteed with passion fruit. Passion fruit? Sauteed with passion fruit, did yes. you say? And what, what, how, how did you do it? Um, after I sauteed the cabbage, I add the passion fruit right at the end. This is exactly what we needed. Passion fruit and cabbage are just not going to work together. I mean, passion fruit and napa cap, was that an accident? No, it was not an you accident. Trip over the passion fruit. But it would work. Yeah. Um, it's, you're, you took a chance. I don't get it. My god. Seven losses in a row. If I do not win this challenge, I am seriously going to burn this shit down today. How does it taste? Delicious. It's not supposed to work. <laughs> Passion fruit and Napa cabbage. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. I mean... It's innovative, mm -hmm. sophisticated, beautiful. I give it a five. A five. Wow. Um, Tuna could have been cooked a slightly bit less. Four. Great job. Thank you. Pretty good Thank job. Thank you very much, Ms. Uh, wow. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Great job, Sasha. <laughs> Blue team, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm getting out of here. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, Day, you haven't been on the rewards in now seven challenges. <laughs> but here today, on the 8th, the three of you are going to visit one of the most stunning places in the whole of Southern California. Problem is, you can't get there by bus, train, or car. Oh. <laughs> so, I've arranged for you to fly in your own private helicopter. Oh. <laughs> To Catalina Island. You're gonna have the most amazing lunch at the Blue Water Grill, right on the waterfront. Get upstairs, get changed. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally getting the fuck out of here. Woo! Oh my I God. <sighs> Red Team, your punishment today is going to be completely nuts. Tomorrow night, there will be a tuna and coconut amuse-bouche. Now, 
shortly we have a delivery of over 200 coconuts coming. Carefully unload those coconuts, crack each of them to make a delicious fresh coconut milk for the muse. Get out of it. Jennifer's previous challenges gave her the big head, the big prawn head. Today was definitely a reality check for her. All right. I see this truck full of freaking coconuts. I'm going to go coconuts after this. OK, let's go. Ah. Yeah, Taj, make sure you get all that coconut. Get the milk, get the water. I'm getting out of Elle's kitchen, dance. Work it, work it, work it. Have fun, yeah. I'll share you the weights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like a boss. All right, thank you. Limo to a helicopter to an island, so my style. <laughs> That's what I do with my boss. This punishment is ridiculous. Ooh, that's a warm coconut. This is a lot of coconuts and it's taking forever. Grab the coconut, bust the coconut, crack open the coconut, click down the coconut, trade the coconut, take the coconut and put it in the oven. Bring out the coconut, break it down with coconuts, peeling it. I don't want to see no more coconut after this. All them procedures for fucking one coconut. Not way to eat. Wow. Yeah, that's like, I just took it out the water like two minutes ago. This is definitely the type of relaxation that I needed. Chilling with my guys, by the waterfront. It's fun hanging out with Santos and Sade. Honestly, we're having a great time. You gotta get a nice smooth one. You cannot skip that big ass rock. Uh, There's like people out there. This day can't get any better. This is so fucking awesome. One, two, three, blue! blue. While the blue team is closer than ever, back in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, babe, I'm missing you. Sterling may be closer than ever. Da, 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 da. To completely losing it. I like you. I'm really excited about this. La, la, la. My man's been waiting to have rest all his life, obviously. Yeah, man, oh, they sagging a little bit, but they... They look nice to me. They feel a little nice, making me miss my fiance. I'm going crazy over these nuts. Man, it's good to be home. And here we go. How you like those nuts, Tasha? Uh, <laughs> a little fuzzy, oh, aren't they? Let me down, let me... Yeah. Oh, it smells amazing. Good yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> Choke on a coconut right on it. That's it. That's it, baby. Let's go have a glass of coconut water. I think I'm actually allergic to fresh coconut. Oh, I'm like breaking red. out yeah. in a rash and my throat is all scratchy right now. I'm not feeling too good. I'm just like tearing at my flesh. Like I itch so bad. My head, my scalp, my neck. I don't eat coconut at all. It's like. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I am getting medic up here. Now she's scared. She's obviously not OK. Jennifer, are you having trouble breathing? Yep. <laughs> I need help. We need to get her out of here. How's Jennifer? She went to the hospital. Wow. The three of us are using this time to strategize about moving forward without Jennifer. But at the end of the day, if she doesn't come back, I'm not going to cry about it. I have figured out the magic of the flip on the scallops. It's literally 40 seconds. When you flip, count to 40 in your fucking head and take them out. 40 every time was perfect. Yeah. Scallops is no longer the kiss of death. Yeah. Conquered I'm like, it. you training me, motherfucker. With one classic Hell's Kitchen dish mastered, at least in theory, the chefs turn in for the night. And with possible black jackets in sight, both teams head downstairs to start prepping for tonight's dinner service. But while the blue team is feeling up, Wait to rock this shit. the red team be on the switcher. I'm thinking we're going to be without Jim. Is one chef down. So just be prepared. We all got to pick up the slack. Yeah. 
Jennifer's still not back. Hopefully, everyone's bringing their A game. Meat just needs Wellington's pull out chicken. Dessert is almost all good. Hey! Hey! How hey, you feeling? Hey, welcome back. Don't touch no coconut. If I knew this wasn't going to be held against me, I wouldn't have come back from the hospital. You feeling better now? I just have to suck it up and suffer through everything just so I don't go up for elimination because I know damn well Roe is already looking to put me up. Red team, line up, please. All right. Quick. Blue team, line up. Jen, yes, sir. are you OK? Yes, sir. I'm not going anywhere. You sure? I'm sure. OK, good. Glad to hear it. As you know, tonight, everybody will get a stunning tuna and muse bush. The appetizers station in both kitchens were responsible for serving the muse bush. Yes, chef. Yes. Now, blue team, you only have three chefs, so put the performance of your lifetime in tonight's service. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Good luck, guys. Thank you, Let's chef. go. Marino, open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. Yes, chef. First customer arriving, guys, yes? Yes, chef. Service about to start. Let's get pumped. Nothing standing in our way. Nothing. Tonight, in addition to the classic Hell's Kitchen menu, each diner will receive a fresh ahi tuna amuse-bouche. Ahi tuna, serve some mishirasha dressing. Okay. It's really good. A little bit of heat, it's really good. With the special tuna moving briskly out of both kitchens. Go, please. You looking good over there, Santos? Now the pressure is on Sade in the blue kitchen and Roe in the red. Hot apps, priority. That'll buy us some time if we need it on entrees. To get appetizers off to a strong start for their teams. On order, two scallops, two cappellini. Yes, chef. Sterling, go ahead and drop scallops. Two scallops in a pan, ma'am. I'm two minutes away. I hear Sterling counting to himself. One, two, three. 16, 17. We have discussed as a team, 40 seconds to get a nice sear on the other side. Didn't really suggest to count to 40 out loud. And I'm a minute and a half away. Minute and a half? Make sure they're beautiful, Sterling. I'm counting, because that's how long it takes for the scallops to get done. Sterling, you're walking scallops soon, yes? 33. Seven seconds. 34. Seven 35. seconds, hurt. Scallop burner, she's in the window. Walking, Capolini, two times. 38, 39. 40, I'm walking with scallops. Walking scallops, chef. Yep, nice stuff. Service, please. Now, how is that technique? On order, two scallops, two risotto. Two scallops, two risotto. Let's go. You ready for two more scallops? Yes, drop scallops. While the red team continues to count on Sterling to deliver on the fish One, station. Two, three, You're all good, Sterling. The blue seven. team is counting on. Two baby gem salad. Capolini. Right now, chef. That's what. Sade on appetizers. Scallops, please. Yep. And Santos on fish. Two scallops. To get their kitchen off to a solid start. Service, please. Beautiful scallops. I need that risotto, Sade. Yes, chef. Risotto. Oh, no, no, right here, chef. Let's go, good. Lobster, please. Right beside. Let's go. Come on, guys, please. Nice. Thank you, chef. Delicious risotto. Delicious risotto. Heard that, yes, chef. Risotto, perfect. Capellini, perfect. Mm, mm. Yummy, yes. Sade is killing shit tonight. Know that. Service, please. With appetizers moving steadily out to the dining room. On order four risotto, entree, two halibut, two chicken. Here is Jack. The blue team is already moving on to entrees. Come on, guys, keep pushing. So good. Now, Chef Ramsay looks to the red team to mirror what is happening in the blue kitchen. Scholars risotto. Walking to risotto. Bro. Yes, Chef. That risotto is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Good job, bro. Coming to the window now. Hey, all of you, come here. Yes, Hurry Chef. Up. Yes, right, yes. Yeah. Chef. Oh, my God. Look. It won't happen Look. again. Ah, won't happen again. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. It won't happen Come again. On. I got this, man. I know I can do the station. Focus. It won't mess up again, I promise you, Chef. Fuck me. Focus, Sterling. Let's go, I'm baby. I'm focused. I promise I'm focused. While Sterling hustles to refire his scallops, his teammates wait, along with their hungry diners. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen, Service, please. Chef Ramsay looks to Bryant on meat. Ready? Walking chicken. And Santos on fish. Walking hell of it. To continue what has been a strong service. Three, two, one. Walking. Two chicken, two halibut, Chef. It feels good to have a three-man team. Tonight is on point, on the money, no backing down. Service, please. 
That's that momentum now. Two Halibut, two Wellington, yes? Yes, Chef. I need to hear the countdown with the chef, team. You know, minutes, chef. you stick together, united, yes, but it's just chef. gone quiet. No, chef. Yes, chef. Hey, and I'm the only one doing the talk, and it's silence. No, yes, chef. chef. Four minutes to the Four window, two Wellington. From now on, I want him to see my mouth moving and words coming out of them every single time he turns around. After two halibut, two wellington. Yep. Six top. Now log it in the back of your mind. Yep. Two halibut, yep. two chicken, two wellington. Yep. Yes, chef. Six minutes to the window. Six minutes First to the chef. window. Work yes, it, chef. yes? Yes, chef. While the blue team works on their communication. Keep talking while the man is away. Yep. Back in the red kitchen. Scallops. Right now, scallops. Sterling is hoping to make a bold statement with his scallops. Scallops to the window. Sterling, please get these scallops out. Red tea. Yes, chef. Red tea. Yes, yes. chef. Four scallops cooked properly and one raw. Yeah. One yes, raw. Sterling. Hey, do we need to change stations? That's a good idea. Of course. Hell yeah. No. Hey. At this stage, it's driving me mad. You're not learning from your mistakes. Just stop. I've had enough. All of you. Get in there and have a meeting, will you? Come on, Sterling. Sterling, can you do Sterling, this? Sterling, I can do this, man. All right, well, what's happening? Let me tell man. you, I'm, I'm do not good. pull a Frank right now. If you need I'm help, I'm not pulling a Frank. Say, I got okay. this. One more thing comes back, I, we'll I, switch. I, I switch. Okay, okay. okay. one more thing, right. I'll more. switch. We got it, huh? One more thing, I'll one switch. One more, we're done. One more, we're done. Let's go, guys. And I'll switch. Behind you, eggplant. I'm so close to just yanking the fucking scallops and trying to cook them over on the fucking meat station right now. Give me three minutes. Give me three minutes, please. While Sterling fights to keep himself on the fish station. They all spank, baby. Over on the blue side. Service, please. Entrees continue to leave the kitchen quickly. It's so good. But they are far from being out of the woods as another VIP diner arrives. Two halibut, two chicken, two Wellington. How long? Six minutes. Six minutes. Hey, we're getting slower and slower and slower. We're going to pick back up. We haven't got that time. OK. I can go in three minutes. Oh, the two chicken, two, two halibut? Two chicken, two halibut. I Ready, I can go as well. Thank you. Right now, we need to push this food out. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. As Bryant tries to maintain the steady delivery of entrees. On order, yeah? Watch this table, Lou Diamond. Five, two scallops, three yes, VIP. Chef. Yes, sir. Chef, chef Ramsey looks to Santos to deliver the last table of appetizers to Lou Diamond Phillips and his wife. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Two scallops, scallops on the road. Why are we waiting on them? The spotlight is still very much on Sterling, who is trying to prove that he can handle the fish station. Two scallops to the window. Let's go. Hey, Red Tick, all of you, come here. Man, I'm done, man. Man, I messed up. Just I'm touch that. Get on just, man, just touch it. I'm just done, touch man. it. Just to... Now it's like bullets. Done. Tosh, switch. Yeah, no. switch. Tosh. I ain't gonna give Tosh, up, though, man. Switch. I'm, I'm sorry. Get on garnish, Sterling. Are you giving up? No, I ain't giving up, man. Don't you dare give up. I won't give up. Don't you fucking dare. I promise I won't give up. I promise I won't give up. It's my fault. But I'm a fighter, man. There ain't no, no quitter in me. It's an hour and 20 minutes into dinner service, and with Sterling's replacement on the fish station, row. Walking scallop chef. Hot, hot, hot. Successfully delivering scallops. Service, please. Diners on both sides are enjoying their food. It's really good. Now, Chef Ramsay is expecting Jennifer on meat. On order, four covers table 33. Entree, two chicken, two Wellington. Yes, Chef. To keep up the momentum on entrees. Fire, straight after that, two chicken, two lamb. Yes? Yes, Chef. Thanks for Sterling. I am buried alive in meat. Let's go push, guys, push. Jen, you're good? Jennifer's overwhelmed on meat. If I, let's not panic. We can't let any station fall, and we need this. I'm waiting on two chicken, two Wellington. How long? I got four minutes, Chef. Well, come here, you. Come here. Let me show you. Red team, come here. Jennifer's a little bit behind, but it's not Sterling's fault. She just got lost. I'll flip the tickets, OK? So okay. I can flip that and do two lamb, two halibut. The lamb's ready. So where are we going? I can do two lamb, two Thank halibut you. right now. Let's All go. Right. Give me a time. Two Three minutes. Two halibut. Two halibut. Come four work minutes, with yes? me. Yes, Chef. Yes, two yes. distance. Yes, Chef. If you don't say anything, I'm fucked. That is a lot, but I'm going to give it my all and grind it out tonight. Two halus. Lamb walking, hot. I can go two chicken, one, two Wellington. Two chicken, two Wellington next. Jennifer, let's go. How long? Two chicken, two welly right now. This is not fucking happening right now. I am not going to go down. Service, please. Two chicken, two lamb walking. With Jennifer keeping it together on the meat station. Two salmons. 
Entrees are leaving at a steady pace. And over in the blue kitchen, Santos. Two scallops in the window right now. Is ready to impress the VIP table with his appetizers. Welcome. How are we, chef? Let us spoil you for once. Right. Appreciate it, sir. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Two scallops. Hey, all of you, come yes, here. Oh, no. I knew, all of you, yes, chef. I knew right, it was right. too good to be true. Fuck me. We've been doing so well, and now this. I knew it was too good to be true. Then they just seep in fucking shit everywhere. Yes, chef. Look, I got that there. I got that there. Cook the fuck, got that one there. Look underneath. Yes, chef. Look underneath. Look, but just, just, just touch them with you guys. Yes, chef. Yes, just, chef. Just, hey. Just, hey, come here, you. Come here. Fuck. What are you doing, Santos? You're cooking like you're fucking out of control. No, no, I'll, I'll get it back together, chef. It's the last two tables. Wake up! Now! Yes, chef! Get out! Chef Ramsay gave me a wake-up call. Two scallops. scallops. mine. I'm owning this. I got this, please. This is the last two tables. Come on. Well, if I don't bounce back, I'm out of here. Santos! Yes, chef, coming now with the scallops, chef! Service, please. With Santos rebounding on the scallops. Here you go, chef. Two lamb. Halibut in the window, chef. Service, please. The blue team completes service. Great fucking job. Good job. Great job. Way to fucking hang in there, huh? And over in the red kitchen. Let's go, push. The chefs are hustling to finish their service. Wellington. Yes, chef. One minute on lamb. Service, please. Chicken to Wellington to the pass. Heard. Going to the pass. Hot. Come in to chef. Service, please. It's perfect. Give him an A+. Very good. Man, good job, babe. It wasn't a bad service, but it wasn't the kind of service I was hoping to get. But there is one thing I am sure about. Sterling. Step forward. Sterling. You have been a phenomenal, relentless competitor. But I know that you're not ready to be my next head chef. OK? Yes, sir. You've been a joy to be around, and you've put smiles on all of our faces. And because of that, I want you to keep your jacket. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. And let that be a reminder of what you've achieved in this competition. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting. <laughs> Listen, continue yes, cooking. I will, yes, chef. Okay, you'll always be 100 to me. Time to head up to the dorms and yes, pack your bags. Yes, sir. This has been the greatest opportunity in my life, man. Okay. Thank you. Can I hug everybody before I go? Whatever you want. All right, man. I'll miss y'all. Yeah, okay? I'm going to miss you too. I love all y'all, okay? 100 is no longer part of Hell's Kitchen. But I learned a whole lot. I was all happy go lucky at first. And I'm always 100. What's this 100? I'm 100%. Okay. <laughs> hey, you have a good time, okay? Some of the other chefs here told me I didn't deserve to be here. It's good. It's yeah. raw. Thank you, chef, for the opportunity. I love you, man. It made me come back even stronger. No, I'm strong. I'm built for this. Back in line. I had to make myself better, and I did that. The one dish that stood out, Sterling. Good job. Ah! And on top of that, I got so many wins and challenges. Fire! Woo! How you doing today? I'm a leader. It took me coming way to California to realize that. Coming up next. Fourth quarantine! Finally, someone organizing them! I might not want Hell's Kitchen, but I got something that nobody in Hell's Kitchen have never accomplished. I got Chef Ramsay hard. The process must continue. Red team, I need one nominee. Blue team, I need one nominee. Thank you. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Ah, oh, man. Dude. I think we did fucking way better than the red team, dude. The entrees out there still weird doing dessert. This is some bullshit. It's tough to put someone up for elimination. Kind of just got to do it and get it over with. 
When I look at the overall picture, I would have to say that you're my nominee. But I think you did good tonight. Who are you voting for? I'm voting for you. So that's, I don't even need to vote them. No point. I don't feel that my scallops were the only mistake in the kitchen, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to have to show Chef Ramsay I deserve to stay here. And fight for yourself up there. What are we going to do? I'm going to say Jen because of the confusion with the tickets tonight. After the allergic reaction and I still stuck through it, what more can you ask from me? Feeling as shitty as I did, I think I did damn good. Jennifer, I have worked through burns. I have worked through deaths in the family. My compassion for those things is very low. I'm trying to be as objective as possible, but I know it's between me and Roe. I really have no reason to put you up. It always comes down to Tosh, because Roe is always trying to eliminate me, and I'm always trying to eliminate Roe. I haven't had a bad service in a while. Been four good performances and two in there. No, bitch. It, you've had plenty more. She is doing her damnedest to turn Tosh against me right now. I've killed it on all the challenges. I think the prawn head was kind of a bad call. Oh, this is so nitpicky. I have to choose between Jennifer and Ro. At one point, that would have been an easy decision, but tonight is definitely not. Y'all trying to stress the hell out of me. Blue team, have you made a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Today, blue team's only nominee and why? Santos chef. The blue team believes that Santos is the weaker chef. Red team, have you made a decision? Yes, yes chef. chef. Latasha, who is the red team's nominee and why? Chef, the red team nominates Ro, just based on overall inconsistencies. Very difficult. Bro, Santos, step forward, please. Bro, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I am a strong leader of our team. I've done the hardest thing in this competition, that's to battle back and regain your team's confidence. But you haven't quite gained your team's confidence because you're standing here. Santos, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I have all the passion, all the drive, everything you're looking for in your next head chef. Now I have to step it up. Now I have to be the leader, the role model. This is hard. Let me tell you. My decision is... Ro. Yes, Chef. And Santos. Give me your jackets. I want these jackets back because Black jackets for you. <laughs> Santos, congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. Good job. You two did not deserve to go home tonight. But Jennifer, step forward. Yes, Chef. You fainted, you've been to the hospital, you've been out a lot. I still fought back. Jennifer, give me your jacket. Congratulations. Good job. Well done. Well done. Poker face. Breathe, baby. I don't want you fainting again. I'm in a fucking black jacket. Natasha, step forward. Yes, Chef. You know how many people want this, and I'm wearing it. Good job. This is like, ah! Ryan. It feels great. Really appreciate well it. Well done. Today. I'm a part of the Black Jacket Elite. Good Thank job. You. I'm hugging you. Good. I'm about to be sterling. Thank you. Black Jacket Club. <laughs> yeah, One, two, two, three. three. Black yeah. When I look at you six talented chefs, I realize that one of you is going to be my next head chef. Well done and good night. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the boxing gloves are coming off. It's going to be a fist fight till the end. <laughs> Get your popcorn out, people, because I'm about to put on a fucking show. I am in this to win this. May the best woman win. Sterling went further in this competition than I thought he would. 
And even though he was always at 100, it wasn't enough to earn him a black jacket. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. We're at the final six. Everything needs to be perfect. Black jacket elite. The final six appear to be on their best behavior. Close. Black man. Woo. Still got to work as a team on the line. Absolutely. But behind each other's back. There are five people. In my way to that final spot. Could it be a different story? Tonight, let's celebrate. Tomorrow, I'm going to wipe the floor with you. And could one chef's plan to get rid of the competition? There's going to be some turbulence. Put your seatbelt on, because it's going to be a rocky ride. Have Chef Ramsay get it together. Pointing the finger in the wrong direction. Bro, let's fucking roll. Santos fucked me over. Next time. Two, come on, then. On a cutthroat. I'm ready to knock the team out one at a time. Surprising. You'll be going up against some of the finest chefs. <laughs> Outrageous edition. Whole cow looks like a fucking Fred Flintstone Brontosaurus burger right here. On Hell's Kitchen.